you can turn the camera into a full field vibration device and leverage it to do things like motion amplification or motion maps, which produce fibergrams. Uh, these fibergrams are colorized images of motion, but on top of that, they can actually isolate individual frequencies. So you can look at a scene and overlay a color overlay on top of the image and show different variations in color um, where red is more intense and blue is less intense, mapping out the actual vibration levels. Let me just show you how this works. Um, so I'm gonna pull up, this is live. Um, you just click this button and you, you pull this up. First thing I'm gonna show is an overall. And it really is as easy as just moving these cursors around and then showing, uh, showing this, uh, showing this um, uh, uh, motion. So at 15 and a half hertz, I can move this cursor over just like I did in that video and, and show that. One, one thing that's interesting though, if you notice here, you can see this railing is, is, is green, a little bit of red, right? That's because maybe this nearby screen is, 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 is vibrating it. But look what happens when I move over to this other frequency. It actually increases in its vibration levels. It's more red, right? And, and that's because th one of two things, either this, this screen is coupled to this railing or this mode of vibration is, is uh, more favorable you know, to this frequency. So it's, it's, it's counterintuitive to maybe non-vibration people to just look at this and say, well, why would something further away causing, be causing more motion? Um, and that's just because, you know, we understand that things through systems, things couple and things have preferred modes uh, based on their shape, their mass, their stiffness, all that kind of stuff. So, again, a really, really powerful tool to be able to get through and, uh, and show, show that. Now, you know, you can do some interesting things like um, um, fill below and I can kind of do this and then show um, the motion amplification under that. And it's, and it's really cool because now what you can do is you can show the overall motion, all frequencies present, but just kind of highlight each individual frequency on top of that, right? Um, and, and, and it's, you know, kind of show, you know, what, what's going on at, um, at each frequency um, while still showing all frequencies. So again, a lot of information in that, in that video that you can produce. And any of these videos can just be spit out as an MP4, just like this. And then you can kind of choose to show the overlay or not, you know, that sort of thing.